Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're noticing duplicate program icons in the Windows 10 star menu. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward process in resolving this issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in File Explorer. Best match to go back with File Explorer. Go ahead and left click on that. Left click on this PC on the left side and now go underneath whatever drive Windows is installed on which is usually indicated by a little Windows icon above a hard drive. So go ahead and just double click on that. And now you want to go underneath the program data folder. If you do not see a program data folder in here, just go ahead and left click on the view tab up at the top and then select hidden items. Now a program data folder should appear. So double click on that. Double click on the Microsoft folder. Double click on Windows. So we down a little bit here. So select Windows. And now there should be a start menu folder. Double click on that. Finally a programs folder. Double click on that. Okay, so now that we are in the Programs folder, you want to go ahead and locate for duplicate entries in the Star Menu directory. So if you scroll down here, if you're noticing extra shortcuts in here for more than one application, just feel free to go ahead and just select it and then select the Delete option on your keyboard. So pretty straightforward process from there. I would not suggest doing that with the folders, but if you have shortcuts, just go ahead and delete them down there. So that's one method. Another thing you can try if you close out of here, would be to open up the star menu, type in Windows PowerShell. Best match to go back on Windows PowerShell. So go ahead and right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on Yes. Okay, so now we have the Windows PowerShell window open here. Go into the description of my video. There should be a command in there. And I want you guys to copy it. Notice the first letter starts with C in my description. If your Windows drive letter was on the D or E drive as we saw through File Explorer, you just want to swap that letter out before copying. And then go up to the top of the PowerShell window, right click on it, left click on Edit, and left click on Paste, paste it in. So once that's done running, just go ahead and close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully again that would have been able to resolve your problem. So I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.